Listen and practice. Summer vacation. Today is the happiest day ever because school is done. It's summer vacation, and I can't wait for all the fun things I'm going to do. My name is Emily, and I'm nine years old. This summer is going to be the best one ever. Guess what? I'm going to my grandma and grandpa's house. They have a special house near a big lake called Lake Sunny. We call it that because the sun always seems to be shining there. They also have a little house by the lake, and it's so cool. First things first, I'm going to swim a lot. The lake is my favorite place to splash around. Sometimes, my grandpa even lets me ride in his little boat. It's like being a captain. I'm going to wear my bright red swimsuit, the one with the sunflowers on it. We're also going to play board games. Grandma has this game with colorful pieces, and we laugh a lot when we play it. I always try to win, but Grandma says it's not about winning, it's about having fun. I like that. Mostly, I just want to talk with Grandma and Grandpa. They tell the coolest stories about when they were little. Grandma once had a pet turtle, and Grandpa used to climb really tall trees. I want to know everything about them. But that's not the end of my summer adventure. After staying with Grandma and Grandpa, I'm going to a special camp. It's in the woods, and I get to sleep in a cozy cabin with other kids. I hope they're nice and that we become best friends. At camp, we'll learn campfire songs. I'm not really good at singing, but I'll try my best. I heard we'll make us mores too. Yum! I've never made one, but I've seen them in movies, and they look super tasty. Oh, and there's this thing called a scavenger hunt. They hide things, and we have to find them. It sounds like a treasure hunt. I hope I find the biggest treasure. Maybe it'll be a seashell or a shiny rock. But wait, there's more. After camp, my family and I are going on a big road trip. We're driving to a place called Happy Beach. It's far away, but Mom says the journey is part of the fun. I'm going to pack my backpack with snacks and my favorite toys. Happy Beach is next to the big, big ocean. I've never seen the ocean before, so I'm super excited. I want to collect seashells and build the biggest sandcastle ever. Mom says the waves at Happy Beach are perfect for jumping and playing in. We'll be staying there for two whole weeks. That means lots of days to do whatever I want. I hope we find a place that sells the best ice cream. I want to try all the flavors, especially the ones with sprinkles on top. I asked Mom if we could bring my bike, and she said yes. I can ride it along the boardwalk by the beach. Maybe I'll make friends with other kids who have bikes too. We can have races and see who's the fastest. Every night, we'll sit on the porch of our little beach house and watch the stars. Mom says the stars at Happy Beach are like glitter in the sky. I'll make a wish on the first star I see every night. I can't wait to see if my wishes come true. And that's my summer vacation plan. Swim at Lake Sunny, have fun with Grandma and Grandpa, sing songs at camp, explore Happy Beach, and make lots of wishes on the stars. 
Summer vacation is going to be the best time ever. I'll tell you all about it when I get back. See you soon. Listen and practice. My first pet. Hi, my name is Alex, and I'm six years old. Guess what happened to me today? I got my very first pet. It's the most exciting thing ever. Let me tell you all about it. Today started like any other day. I had breakfast with mom and dad, and then we went to the park. The sun was shining, and there were kids playing with their dogs. I always wanted a pet, but mom and dad said we needed to wait until I was a little older. But guess what? Today was the day. We went to the pet store, and there were so many animals. Big dogs, little kittens, and even colorful fish. I didn't know which one to choose. Mom and Dad said we could look around and see which pet felt right for our family. I walked past the fish tanks first. There were fish of all colors swimming around. Some had big tails, and others were tiny and fast. I liked the orange ones the best. They looked like they were having a party in the water. Then, I saw the kittens. They were in a big box, and they were all different colors. There was a gray one, a black one, and even one with stripes. They were so cute, and I wanted to take them all home. But Mom said we needed to think about it. Next, we went to the section with the small animals. There were hamsters, rabbits, and even a guinea pig. The guinea pig had long hair, and it looked like a little ball of fluff. I giggled when it wiggled its nose. But Dad said we should keep looking. And then, there they were, the puppies. I couldn't believe my eyes. They were all wagging their tails and looking at me with big, shiny eyes. There was a fluffy one that looked like a teddy bear and a tiny one that could fit in my pocket. I wanted a puppy so much. Mom and Dad talked to the person who worked at the pet store. They asked about taking care of pets and what a puppy would need. I listened carefully because I wanted to be the best pet owner ever. After talking, Mom and Dad looked at each other and smiled. They said we could get a puppy. I was so happy I could hardly contain myself. We walked over to the fluffy puppy that looked like a teddy bear, and it was love at first sight. We named him Max because it sounded strong and friendly. Max had soft fur, and his little tail never stopped wagging. The person at the pet store gave us a bag of food, a bowl for water, and a comfy bed for Max to sleep in. We were ready for our new adventure with our furry friend. The ride home was so much fun. Max sat in the back seat, looking out of the window with his ears flapping in the wind. I giggled, and Max wagged his tail, as if he knew we were going to be best friends. At home, Max sniffed around, exploring every corner. He liked his bed and wagged his tail when we filled his bowl with water. Mom showed me how to feed Max, and I felt so grown up. The best part was playing with Max in the backyard. We had a ball, and I threw it, and Max would run after it and bring it back. It was like our own little game. We laughed a lot, and I hugged Max so tight. 
As the day went on, I learned more about taking care of Max. We took a walk around the block, and Max met some other dogs. He sniffed their noses, and they sniffed his. It was like a doggy handshake. When it was time for bed, Max curled up in his bed, and I read him a story. He looked at me with his big eyes, and I knew he liked the story. We both fell asleep, and I dreamed about all the fun adventures we would have together. The next morning, I woke up to Max licking my face. He was so excited. It was like he was saying, wake up, it's a new day of fun. We had breakfast together, and then we went to the park. At the park, Max made friends with other dogs. There was a big one that Max tried to chase, and a little one that kept barking. We ran around, played fetch, and rolled in the grass. Max was the happiest puppy in the world. As days turned into weeks, Max became a part of our family. He followed me everywhere, and I taught him tricks. He learned to sit, shake hands, and even roll over. We had so much fun together, and I couldn't imagine life without him. Max also became friends with the neighbor's pets. There was a cat named Whiskers who liked to sit on the fence and watch us. Max would wag his tail, and Whiskers would purr. It was like they had their own secret language. One day, we had a picnic in the backyard. Mom, Dad, Max, and I sat on a blanket, and we had sandwiches and fruit. Max got a special treat, a bone. He chewed on it happily, and we all laughed at how excited he was. As the years went by, Max grew from a tiny puppy into a big, loyal dog. He was always there for me, whether I was happy or sad. We went on many more adventures, camping trips, beach days, and even a visit to the mountains. Max loved exploring new places, and I loved having him by my side. Having Max as my first pet was the best thing ever. He taught me about responsibility, friendship, and unconditional love. Every day with Max was an adventure, and I was grateful for every wag of his tail, every sloppy kiss, and every moment we shared. And so, the story of my first pet, Max, became a treasure in my heart. He was more than just a furry friend, he was a part of our family and a bundle of joy that brought endless happiness into our lives. All the lessons are specially designed for learners of all levels. If you enjoy my videos, please show your support by subscribing to my channel. Also, don't forget to like, share, and comment.